Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Aaron, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everybody, welcome to episode 10. We're going to give a little bit of an update, things we've been working on the past week or so. It's going to be a quick, short little episode. Yep. So we got the freeze dryer. Yep. And it was delivered and everything went good. Um, Then we had to let it sit for 24 hours and wait and then do a bread run. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gets rid of all of the, just the, they say the chemical new car smell. Yeah, the conditioning stuff stuff they leave in it, yeah. Yep. And I think it's really just to do a test to like make sure it's working so you're not like, you know, wasting a whole batch of whatever. Right. But... It's been working perfectly, knock on wood, because I will tell you, if you're thinking of getting one and you think, oh, I'll join some Facebook groups just to learn about it while I'm waiting, Mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, don't do Don't join the Facebook groups, because it's just full of people complaining about their problems, which could come in handy if you do have a problem, but it really gets in your head. Oh, yeah. That it's like this is going to be like a big, huge paperweight. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's the same with the rabbits, too. If you're in some of these, if you have, if you're thinking about getting rabbits and you go in these rabbit groups, they will probably scare you away from get, ever getting rabbits because it is just all the negative stuff. Yeah. And I understand that, like with all things, people are not just going to go in to a group and post. Everything's fine today. No right. updates. Absolutely. But it really, I mean, because you're waiting at least a month for this. Oh, unit. easily. They tell you eight to ten weeks, but it wasn't that long, at mm-hmm. least for us. Um, so you're in there going, holy cow, I just spent my money on garbage, and it's not going to work, and it's mm-hmm. it's a crazy mental roller coaster. Oh, yeah. So, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Just find somebody that, has that you one. know and talk to them. Absolutely. And we're expecting to have to, you know, do maintenance and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's not just going to run perfectly forever, but, man, it was, right. it was a long, anxious wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did a, a batch of stuff last night, which was pretty cool. Oh, man. We did cheese cubes. Mm-hmm. The cheapo cheese cubes from Aldi, they turned out amazing. I know. We ate a lot of that yes. on the way down yes. to Streeter today, which we will get into here in a little bit. Yeah, that was it came out, and I was like, oh no, we're driving an hour and a half away. The kids are going to be hungry. So I just grabbed those, threw them in a Ziploc bag and mm-hmm. some crackers, and we were good to go. It was amazing. Yep, yep. I did find that the um, Colby Jack ones were perfect, but the all cheddar ones, some of them were still kind of goopy inside. Mm-hmm. So now I know for next time that I either need to cut them or just Go a do those a little bit longer. longer. Yeah. Because the one nice thing is you can't over dry. No. I mean, once all the moisture is taken out, that's it. It's mm-hmm. just going to you know, dry. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to not have to worry about it. Mm hmm. Um, But after the bread run, we did candy, Mm -hmm. which I said before we got it that I didn't want to do candy because I felt like that was a waste. (laughs) But I was still a little nervous. I didn't want to start taking stuff out of the freezer and, you know, until I figured out what I was doing. And I thought, well, we'll just buy a bunch of junk candy Mm -hmm. that, you know, if it if we screw up, it's it's no big deal. It's a couple bucks. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, my goodness, it is really good. I know. Saltwater taffy That's is amazing. Yes. Skittles. Yeah. If you like Skittles. Skittles <laughs> Skittles if you like sweet things are really the everything really is good. very sweet. Yes. Um we did gummy bears, of course. Yep, those gummy bears are oh. so weird. Oh. <laughs> They're so gross. But really cool to watch. Mm-hmm. You've always had a problem with gummy I've always bears. had a problem with gummy bears. I can eat gummy worms. I cannot eat gummy bears. Except for the chocolate covered ones from SOE. 
special operations equipment. If you yes. ever can get the chocolate covered gummy bears, get them because yeah, they uh, are delicious. Yes. Um, and since I don't need to buy cheese cubes anymore from them, I'll just have to buy chocolate covered gummy bears. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we did bit oh honey. Yeah, bit of honey. I had never heard of before. Yeah, I had never heard of it either. But it's like okay, we'll try this it. This was on it's the here. list of you know all the stuff people tried, and then there was a was that it? Yeah. That yeah, was salt it. water taffy gummy mm-hmm. bears, Skittles, and bit oh honey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean they all turned out just like they were supposed to, gross mm-hmm. or not. They they came out just right. Yeah. Um, and we've sold a couple bags of candy already. Mm-hmm. So we got like fifteen dollars to put back into the. Uh, we've already spent. Yeah. Lots of money on this. Yes. Well, we that's paid for the candy. Right. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's true. The candy was free now. So. Um. And then, just to kind of do another run, because I was still a little nervous about making sure I knew what I was doing. I just grabbed a bunch of the frozen mixed veggie bags. Mm-hmm. that I had and it did corn and green beans and then mixed veggies and they turned out really good. Yeah. I mean, but it was the night after the net, our uh, local ham radio club net that I'm sitting there. I think I was, I jumped back on HF after the net and uh, one of the guys texted me and said somebody was calling me on the repeater. So I jumped back on the repeater and talking to a guy on there about free, uh, freeze dryer. He's got a medium as well. And he's like, you guys should try the corn. Mm-hmm. Freeze-dried like sweet corn, corn. Sweet corn. Holy cow. That is pretty good. Yeah, I could just sit there and eat those like candy. Even yeah. my eight-year-old said, wow, these are really good. Although she eats everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he also said to do hot dogs. Yes. Which, looking up, it doesn't sound like you're supposed to be able to because it's so oily. But, hmm. I mean, if who knows? Yeah. If he does it, then... And then there was something else. I can't remember what he said. The tater tots. Yeah, tater tots. And then we were talking a little bit about doing the syrup, too. Oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, those will be next. Mm-hmm. But I think next we're going to do eggs. I yeah. I am itching to do eggs. We have so many eggs <laughs> on this counter in the kitchen. Yes, it's getting a little, a little much. But you're supposed to scramble them up. And I think... I can't remember if it was a dozen or 18 eggs can go on a medium tray, but I, I'll probably do a dozen and just mm-hmm. kind of keep it organized. But you scramble them up, pour them onto the tray, and then liquid you're supposed to pre-freeze. So that's got to pre-freeze for like 48 hours to make sure that it's fully mm-hmm. frozen. So the girls and I are heading out to the Mississippi River next week. So tomorrow or Monday I'll get the eggs in the trays and just in the freezer until we come back later. Well, yeah, yeah, it'll be in a couple of days. Um, so then I can just throw it into the, the freeze dryer. All right. Well, that'll work. Yeah. That'll be something fun. Yeah. And then you powder it up and it's supposed to be like one tablespoon of egg powder to one tablespoon of water equals one egg. So mm-hmm. then you would scramble them like normal cause they will, they'll be freeze dried raw. Yeah. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. And in baking, I would assume, you'll yeah. just throw it into a yeah, whatever. That would work. Let's see how it is. Yeah. So, really excited. Took me a long time to decide to do it, and now it's like, what can I do next? Yep. yep. I already ordered more trays. There you go. Because it's like, when their trays are in there, you can't do anything. Yeah, you can't be getting the can't next be, batch ready. Yeah, or... it would be nice to, it'll be nice to be able to pre-freeze while the one yeah. set's already in there. Yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Yeah. So we t- uh, took our cheese on a trip today mm-hmm. or over the weekend. Yep. The day that we were recording this on a Saturday, we ran down to uh, Streeter, Illinois, Ransom, Illinois. It's kind of all the same area down there. And we went to go see uh, Jason over at Sorrell's Beef Company. So Jason is who we got the rabbits from originally. And that was coming up on two years ago, like a week ago maybe. Mm. So we'd been doing some hunting around. Um, We ended up dispatching the doe because the uh, single kit that she had ended up, you know, passing away and just not making it. 
So we went ahead and dispatched her, and we did a week of hunting around and seeing if we could find another doe to replace her, which there's not a whole lot up here, which is kind of about normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I ended up calling uh, Jason down there and seeing if he had any litters available, and he's got quite a few down there, so we took the it was about an hour hour and a half ride down to him with the kids and the oldest got to go down and pick out a new doe for the rabbitry yep and they came with they they sell beef Mm -hmm. so i think you just went to go pick up the rabbits last time but then we all went to go pick up the beef and so the girls you know, got to go in and see where the rabbits came from and mm-hmm. the hundreds of chickens they have and the big steers and the pigs. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of neat to go back again years later and, and, see, and see it mm-hmm. again. Yeah. yeah. And the, the purple cow that he's got out front. Yes, the cool. girls love that. Yes, that was cool. <laughs> so yeah, he's got a 250 plus chickens, a uh, good set of grass-fed cows and some pasture-raised pork and can find him at uh, Sorrell's Beef Company dot com and on Facebook, and I'll put his social media in. Yeah. So. So yes, yeah, she got to pick out her new bunny, mm-hmm. who's named Mary Hoppins. Yep. <laughs> or Snowball. I don't or know. Or Snowball. Yet. I, yeah. Yeah. She wanted a white one, so yeah. I think Snowball was going to be the white one, but yep. I think she switched to Mary Hoppins. Okay. Um. So yeah, that one's kind of out there chilling out. It's only what six weeks old. Yeah. So. In the fall, will be the first. Uh, yep. Breeding that will. It'll be uh, probably late August. We'll breed it. Yeah. And see how it goes. We're gonna do uh, Coco. Give Coco one more shot. And yeah. See how she does, and we may be driving back down there again in a couple of weeks to go get a new one. Yeah. So. Hopefully not. But... Yeah. Hopefully not. Um. So. The other thing we did was I finally got the seed started. Yes. It's been a couple of weeks, but yeah, they're all popping up. I got tomatoes coming up, peppers. I had one empty um, portion on the tray and it was driving me nuts. So I think I ended up doing cucumbers again. Yeah. I wasn't going to, but I just can't not. Yeah, do we'll them. see how it goes. <laughs> and I think I, I think you ended up posting a picture somewhere that you'd gotten those seed yeah. starters going and somebody said. That is uh, a cardinal sin yeah. to leave open uh, seed starter trays. I know. I was trying to keep it simple <laughs> this year. I didn't buy any seeds. Maybe a couple flowers. Yeah, but, I think all you did was get flowers yeah, for the girls. Yeah, they do their fairy gardens every year, so they picked out there. But I didn't do like any major catalog, even though the Baker Creek sent me like five catalogs this year. I have no idea why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some for some reason we got five catalogs, and I don't know if that's because we didn't buy any last I year. I don't know, but they've all been given away, and <laughs> yep. And I didn't buy any. Um, so yeah, I'm really scaling back this year. I really want to focus on what we're going to eat, and just have things that you know we can work on. Yep, it'll be a fun summer. I yeah, think we got a lot of fun stuff planned. Yeah, usually I plant the tomatoes to can tomato sauce, and so all summer long I'm panicking about the amount of tomatoes, throwing them in bags and freezing them until, you know, eventually we can make sauce. This year, I'm not making sauce. We're gonna eat fresh tomatoes, which I'm fine That's with. The, the girls the love them. I mean. I love fresh tomato sauce, but I want fresh tomatoes, mm-hmm. not frozen filling up my sink. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember sauce. doing that last year. Oh, my God. that's yeah. Both sinks were filled up yes. like all day thawing tomatoes yeah. out so we could do sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So this year, fresh tomatoes. Yep. So we're just going to kind of keep it quick this week. Just do some updates. Um it's starting to get really busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. So it was it was a busy weekend, and now we got a lot of stuff coming up on this week. So we're just gonna keep it short, and we will update a little bit more next time. All right. And then you guys can always find us on Facebook, Float, uh, MeWe. We'll have all of our links down in the in the show notes, and then 
the main website, twochickshomestead.com. You can yep. always send us an email there. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. All right. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking. <laughs>